Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Karate UI automation tutorial, we are going to learn how to get the value attribute of the HTML web element. So we can see that in the state section here of the Karate UI documentation, there is a value function already. So if you go to the value function, you will see that you can get the HTML form element value, right? And then you can also set it. So both get and set for the value form HTML form element element are supported. Now before we get into the details of getting how you are going to fetch the value attribute and set the attribute, let's see what exactly it is all about. Okay. So if we simply go to let's say for example we go to the same website training.rcvacademy.com and so here if you see these input boxes, right? So if we simply just say right click and inspect okay so the value attribute of these boxes right so if you'll see that the value uh, in this particular uh, input tag okay so this is the html input tag and within this we have certain attributes for example the type the class id name etc right so similar to these there could be a value attribute as well which will define the actual value of this uh, text box for example so at the moment you will see this your name is the placeholder right so if you'll see that placeholder is your name okay and that's why it is displayed but actual value is not being put here so say for example in many scenarios what could be the case is that by default the developers want to set the default value in this case so for example there is a radio button there is a there is a checkbox so in case a person checks the option a what should be the value behind that option right that should be submitted then if say for example this form here so by default if the user doesn't input anything here by default the developer wants to set the value for these text boxes right then in that case what they'll do is during development they'll put a value attribute here in the input tag and also provide a value so for example if say for example here if we go and let's say, let's say instead of name this is say for example value okay so they'll put something like this value is equal to and then specify the name here so for example i'll specify my name here okay so i'll say value is equal to manish verma in the input tag and you will see the value has been set by default now what this means is that this text field already has the default value i can go ahead and remove the default value and in input my own value when as a user i am trying to input the values in this form but in case i do not enter any of the values and still submit by the default whatever the values have been provided here by the developer still this submission will happen but in case as of now you will see that if i'll say get access name field is required right so but if i change this say for example the value okay so there was a type right so type is text and then the value right so value is let's say change it to my first name okay okay i think we need to do it again let me refresh or let's do the so let me inspect again and here let me change this to value okay so value and i'll say the value is okay now if i'll click on this get access i should only get the error that email address is required right you'll see the email field is required by default this because the value has been set in this attribute in this input value as the value attribute the value is already provided there okay so this is what the relevance of the value attribute is i thought that i'll clear some of the doubts around the value attribute before we go ahead and see the use case and how you are going to use it how you are going to use it is absolutely simple right understanding why it is done is the more important thing which i thought i'll cover in this tutorial as well okay so now if say for example developer has provided the default values in the form elements and you want to check that the default values that have been provided in the form elements uh, say for example in this particular text field is actually what is expected right so how you are going to verify that so there is a function value function in karate ui so you will simply use the value function to get the value okay so let's quickly go to the eclipse here and we have understood about the get text so let me copy this get text dot feature file and i'll name it as get 
set value because we are understanding about the get value and the set value as well and paste it so let me open this get set value and here i'll name it as get value or get set value okay and value okay just roughly i'm giving these names it's not the perfect thing just for uh, understanding okay okay so now say for example we are going to this particular website right so training.rcvacademy.com and now i want to get the value of a particular web element right so we have understood about the value anyway so if i go to this particular website i want to check what is the value of this particular web element now this value that i have specified is basically by default i have edited the value here in this input tag right so if i'll reload this value will be gone unless until it's actually saved into the production environment this value is not going to be stay there okay so by default this particular site when it fits from the server there is no value set in this in these text fields right so if i say right click and inspect you will see there is no value in the your name okay there is no value tag at, at all so if i'll go ahead and see what is the value of this particular web element it should give me blank so i'll simply highlight it so i'll get the locator for this particular web element so highlight it and then just right click copy xpath okay this is just by default quickly copying this particular xpath now this is kind of a there is a there are two fields or there are two web elements with the same xpath okay so let's find some unique properties okay so what are the unique properties so placeholder right we can use placeholder because placeholder here is your name okay so i'll simply say at placeholder okay and i'll simply say here your name okay now you'll see that one of one is there okay now i'll copy this xpath now there is a complete xpath series and css selector series that i've posted i'll highly recommend that you go ahead and watch it all to understand all all of the locator concepts okay so i've copied this xpath here and let's go back to eclipse and let's see the value okay so i'll say element let me remove all of it okay let me remove all of it so it's a bit clear okay so first step we are opening the website and then we are just delaying for three seconds so you can see everything happening properly and then we to get the value right so if we go to the documentation here to get the value we have the value function right so we can simply say value okay and the locator we simply need to pass the locator in the parenthesis okay so i'll simply say value okay and in the parenthesis i'll simply pass the locator for which i want to get the value okay now there is a double quotes here and the outside as well so inside we'll change it to the single quote so there is a it's not confusing okay so this will get me the value now when i'll get the value i can store it in some variable right so i'll simply define a variable i can say def okay and i can name this variable anything right so i can say name underscore value okay and the value that will be fetched from this particular web element okay from this web element will be stored in name underscore value variable okay and then i can print what is the value okay so the print will be print function and then printing the name underscore value because this variable stores the value that is there for this particular web element okay and now how we are going to set the value so this will basically get me the value now because this particular web element right there is no value as such defined in this particular input tag okay so the value should be returned as blank because there is no value defined here okay let's see if there are any web elements wherein there is a value tag defined okay so let me do control f and simply say value and see that there are some value attributes okay so there is a value tag here so which is basically live class id and the value is 32410 right so this is input tag type id live class id right so this has a value now for this particular web element say for example i'll copy the x path okay and paste the x path here so this one web element is highlighted and for this one say for example i want to get the value what is the value of this particular web element it should be 32410 when it's based when it's fetched okay so if i simply say and i'll define another variable okay and i'll say course id because it's it's a number okay 
it's a course id basically and then simply provide the locator of that live class id okay and here it should get me the value of the web element that i have picked up here okay and store in the course id okay now if i print this value okay and i'll say course id course underscore id it should print the value that is being stored in the course id right so this value 32410 should get printed on the console in the report okay now how we are going to set the value now setting the value we simply pass another attribute there or another uh, argument there so basically in the value you provide the locator and the value that you want to set for that particular locator okay now in this case say for example in the first text box itself I also want to set so I have just copied both two lines okay now I want to set the value right so I'm not storing it anything it's not a get so it's a set so I'll simply say and value in this value what I'm going to store or what I'm going to set the value as so I can simply provide the value here I can simply say set the value as my first name right so this value should get stored in this your name placeholder okay in this particular in this particular web element this value should get stored and now if i then print or say for example let me after storing it okay after setting that value let me get the value okay so i'll define another variable okay and i'll say name value one and get the value again okay so get this value again whatever the new value has been set and this time this value should be stored in name value one and if i print name value one now it should print name value one so here it should print the blank because there is no value being set here then we are setting the value in this particular web element right so for this particular web element we are setting the html value attribute as manish verma rcv that should get set and then we are basically again getting the value that has been set in this particular step into the name underscore value variable that we are defining here okay and then printing that name underscore value one and then finally here we are just getting the value of live class id web element because here by default there was no value so it will be printing blank but here there is a value for course id so it should print the course id for this particular web element okay so let me put some sort of delay after each step okay so you can see that everything is working as expected so i'll put some delay here after setting the value okay let me put say sort of four seconds and then i'll also put some delay here okay so now let's quickly go ahead and execute this particular code and see that everything is working as expected okay so right click run as cucumber feature so it is opening the firefox browser open the website you see manish verma rcv value has been displayed now because it has been set it has been set as the value attribute right and then finally the last step and the execution has been done okay so let's refresh the target okay so let's see the report all right and here we should be able to see all the details okay so it's all green let's open the report so the first print statement is blank right there is no value attribute for this particular web element which is blank which is absolutely fine then we are going ahead and setting the value attribute for your name which we have seen that it has been displayed on the screen as well the value that has highlighted Nishwama rcv has been set and then we printing that value okay for that attribute you will see that the value will be fetched and printed and then we are printing the course id value which is which is 32410 right so there for this web element for this web element there was a value attribute so it has fetched that value attribute and printed it here okay so this is basically how you are going to work with the values okay so the text is another thing value is another thing in html so you will see that value function will set the html form and element value okay uh, to set it you have to provide the locator and the value that you want to set to get it you just simply fetch the value use the value function and provide the locator for which you want to fetch the value of that particular web element right use cases that in case there are some web elements on your ui that 
have the default value associated to them and you want to verify that the values that are associated to those web elements are actually what is expected by the business and is by the business product owner uh, and by, for, for the requirement and is actually there on the application as well okay so that's the real use case of these two functions okay so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching